Hello, my friends, and welcome back to today's nugget. Our story today is found in Mark 7, verses 31 to 37, and it's about a deaf and dumb person Jesus healed. Just another miracle Jesus performed, right? <laughs> no, because today's story is filled with details that seem just quite unusual. First of all, Jesus is surrounded by a lot of people, and they bring him a man who needs healing. But Mark describes Jesus healing this man away from the multitude, almost as in secret. That's an unusual detail. Why would Jesus act differently? Well, remember earlier on in the quarter we talked about the messianic secret? This was constantly on Jesus' mind, and timing of his messiahship was crucial. But additionally, because of where he was geographically, the deaf man was probably a Gentile. And Jesus didn't want the unthinking people watching to misunderstand this as magic, similar to the heathen miracle workers. Another interesting and unusual detail is how Jesus physically healed this man. Mark describes Jesus putting his fingers into the man's ears and he spat and touched his tongue. That's a very specific way of acting. The original Greek reads that Jesus thrust his fingers into the man's ears. He also touched the man's tongue, which were both organs that were in need of healing. Now, the third interesting and unusual detail of this miracle is Jesus' sigh before he heals the man. When a person sighs, it's usually because they are releasing some emotion, such as frustration, sadness, powerlessness, disappointment, resignation. Sighing is also a way to reset ourselves mentally and emotionally. It's a temporary way to experience relief from distress. Why would Mark find it significant enough to include that kind of a detail, and what did it mean? We don't have many of Jesus' emotions documented in the Gospels, so when Jesus shows his humanity through emotions, it just makes him so much more relatable who truly understands our emotions, our frustrations, our disappointments and longings, and so much more. What possible distress could Jesus have felt when healing someone? Shouldn't he have felt joy? In the Desire of Ages, pages 404, we read that Jesus looked up to heaven and sighed at thought of the ears that would not be open to the truth and the tongues that refused to acknowledge the Redeemer. Oh, what pain, what heartache. Jesus was literally going to lay his life up for people who wouldn't think twice of him. That's probably the only limitation God has, our willpower. He can do it all for you, but if you don't choose him, he's never gonna force you, even if it breaks his heart, even if it costs him his life. And that is our nugget for today.